Welcome to Draga, where we tell a dumb story oh, with even dumber drawings. I am Caldwell Tanner, your drawing master, joined one last time by Lexi, Regina, and Roxa, AKA the Ladies Book Club. Friends, are we ready? Yeah. I hope so. We gotta be. Yep, as ready as you'll ever be. Well, in that case, would everyone please link arms, pray to whatever deity you hold dear, and let's dive into this recap. Pray to Parker. Parker be with you. <laughs> so, having made your way to the Soul Exchange, the site of the first rifting and the seat of all hands power, you encountered Snowcomb, a terrifyingly adorable ice dragon who is responsible for freezing the entire city of Porphopolis. Enamored by this dragon's oblivious nature, you three once again chose the path of friendship and warmed the icy creature's heart using high fives, cold omelets, and the life-changing power of trombones. <laughs> Free from her frozen curse, Snowcone shed her icy carapace, revealing the rainbow sprinkle dragon underneath. She then took to the sky, leaving behind some powerful sprinkles as a parting token. After leveling up, you three took inventory of your familiars. Roxa evolved Parker into a major league woke, major league slugger. Regina summoned a skeletal hype man. And the newly uncursed Parker the Pony decided to pal around with Lexi instead. With new friends and renewed focus, you three headed towards the large bank vault door in the back of the room. However, as soon as you approach, it creaked open to reveal all hands waiting for you on the other side. The demon beckoned you to join it, then revealed its true form. Even more hands. Even more hands. Probably could have seen that coming. Still scary. <laughs> While you reeled from the shock, the beast reached out its many hands and dragged you through the vault door and into the realm of corruption, which is where we find ourselves right now. Oh, Ooh. yeah. All those little souls. That's so cool looking. Little soul ingots. You wow. pass through the portal and into the soul vault. All hands throne room and the nexus between our world and the realm of corruption. As you enter, you see thousands of bricks of condensed souls. But unlike the souls of Renald and Paul Turgis, these souls glow with a swirling, iridescent splendor. As you walk towards all hands, the demon lifts one of the bricks and inspects it while talking. You know, for aeons, we were content being a simple soul trader, slowly tweaking the market so that it swung between periods of booming joy and great depression. But eventually, we stopped being content with the meager gains and grew greedy for a world free of the unclean souls that weighed down the market. So, we whispered into the mind of Ludwig Windersoul an idea for an algorithm. An algorithm that would create a world full of adventurous heroes. Heroes whose exploits would inspire hope in an entire populace. And so, to begin the great verification, we froze Porphopolis, plunging the world into one final depression before the world falls into our eternal embrace. Now, it is long since time you joined the despair. Come. Our meeting is long overdue. Let's roll initiative. Oh boy. Dang, dude. That's dang, a dramatic dude. villain speech right there. <laughs> Hot dang. I guess since we're we're closer to his realm, his voice has gotten a little bit more deep. A little echoey, and, and yeah. he's taken on his secondary form. Yeah, less less uh less whispery. Less whispery. Yeah. He yeah. is in his seat of power. For sure. Uh, uh, what everyone roll? I got a seven. Seven. I got a nine. A nine? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, so for this first drawing challenge, I want you each to draw yourselves preparing your final attack against all hands. Roxa, you are up first. 
All right. I have some items left. Interesting. I have a few. Yeah. What do so, you got? It's the last episode. But we've it's got more items. Mm-hmm. I got more items than episodes. More items than episodes? What a unless conundrum. You got a, unless you got a, a secret mm -hmm. episode hidden somewhere away. That would be quite a fun surprise, but uh, not a budgetary surprise. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> um, Caldwell, my yes. friend. Yes. Can I use both of them? You can use both your items, because it is the last episode, and what the heck. Yes. Limiters are coming off, last episode. I want everyone uh, to live their best lives. But as a compromise, all hands, using their mini hands reaching out, is going to try and steal your items before you can use them. Oh, oh. what a dingus. Counterpoint. Yes. I have a familiar. OK. That's a good counterpoint. What if? What if? Parker uses one of them. Parker uses one of the items? Yeah, and then about, I use the other one. OK, how about this? I will let Parker help you out so you can roll with advantage on your check to see if you can resist all hands taking your items. How does that sound? If you do me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last episode. It's got to be stakes. No. All right, go ahead and give me um, a guts roll a guts with advantage. Roll. All right. All right. Uh, I got 29. 29? <laughs> yeah. OK. Nice. Uh, let's see if all hands can be 29. <laughs> all hands got a 10. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't 29. Yeah. That ain't 29. You keep your items. Yes. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, the first item that I would like to use mm -hmm. um, is uh, <gasps> the Ring of Random Power. Hell yeah. Um, but what I would like to do mm -hmm. is I would like to put the eyes of Gugelian onto the Ring of Random Power so that the Random Power is now its own powerful being. So it becomes its own superhero? Yeah. <gasps> I want a ring superhero with tiny little hands, because it says <laughs> it sprouts little arms and little white gloves if need be. All right. And uh, it sounds like need be. It seems need like um, be. <laughs> just as a reminder, the Ring of Random Power, uh, whoever wears this ring is granted a random superpower for the ra uh, rest of the session. And the eyes of, Gu of Gugelion, uh, there must have been some magic in those googly eyes they found. Any item these googly eyes are affixed to will magically come to life. Ooh. They may even sprout little arms with little white gloves if need be, but you can't remove them. That would be murder. That would obviously be so murder. So I'm just gifting the world a superhero. You know what? The world needs more heroes. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to pull up a list of random superpowers. OK. OK. Can't wait to try to draw this. Let's see. I'm going to have you roll a D8 for me. I got a five. A five. <laughs> oh no. Your superpower is dowsing. The ability to locate water, sometimes <laughs> using a tool called a dowsing rod. <laughs> uh, there's water everywhere because of uh, melting that's been going on. That's true. Well, we're, we're in the corruption we're, dimension. We're in the, now. The, the soul vault now. Yeah. Oh, yes. Is there any water in here? We might get thirsty. We can find out. <laughs> Hand demons hate water. Um, uh, <laughs> counterpoint, they love water because they have so many hands and they need to moisturize. Well, so well, what then, do you know? Then you need, then you need lotion. Water, uh -huh. if you just put water on your hands without the lotion, then they actually get dehydrated. Shit, you're right. You they got all, me. They get all raisiny. Fuck, I've been dumped oh, on. Oh, yeah, raisin up his hands. <laughs> raisin up his hands. <laughs> no, my beautiful hands. <laughs> Make them all wrinkly. All right. All right. You've been in the bath too long, all hands. <laughs> I'm just a little moist all the time. Gross. <laughs> I'm a villain. It's kind of what we do. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, we are into it. Hell yeah. So you're drawing a superhero to aid you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> just a, a ring that can find water, <laughs> but it can't do anything to the water. It can uh, just find it. It can find it. I mean, here's the thing. It's a superpower, so I think that, like, it could maybe manipulate it or, like, find it in large quantities, Okay, like sure, that. sure. Oh, and you're making it the actual ring, too. Yeah, why not? <laughs> With googly eyes. With googly eyes. Don't forget. 
and little arms and legs if need be. Yeah, I won't forget. Is the is the ring's name Dowsing Rod? <laughs> Dowsing Rodney? I think so. <laughs> I like to think that Dowsing Rodney hops out and goes, who's thirsty? <laughs> I am a little bit. It's been a while since oh, I've had something to drink. I want to talk to Dowsing Rodney. Now, hold on. Oh, there's got to be some around here somewhere. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, you noticing any water in this realm of corruption? Well, this realm of corruption is kind of devoid of all life and existence. <laughs> there must be water somewhere, Dowsing Rodney. Exist at the nexus of madness and greed. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Dowsing Rodney, you've just come into existence. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, it's, it's a lot to take in, honestly. What are those weird purple bricks? Uh, those are the souls of people deemed pure enough to be worth extra soul points Holy in... Holy shit, what? <laughs> yeah. It's rough here, Dowsing Rodney. We really yeah. need your help. It's, it's, we're basically standing on a bunch of corpses, but the corpses aren't gross and decaying. They're cool, pretty crystals. Uh, I basically just find aquifers. Do you want me to find an aquifer? Yeah, find me an aquifer in this uh, corruption dimension. Okay. <laughs> Let me do a roll. Aqua for you, aqua for me. <laughs> Rodney got a seven. <laughs> Way to go, Rodney. <laughs> Rodney's having a little trouble. Oh, it's just one big eye. He might have some others. I like not know yet. Okay. It Curly is he's just like, there's no water in the sky. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> I feel like all the other familiars are like, huh, this guy's here now, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Parker Pony is probably fine. Oh, right Parker there. Pony is absolutely into it. I love in this drawing, it looks like he's doing a big shrug. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> My favorite thing about Draga is how much of a middle finger any attack you could make is to just like the concept of this narrative, because it's just so silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All hands is just like, okay. <laughs> so it's trying to find water? <laughs> I, I don't get it, but. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> Roxa, do you have a plan for dowsing Rodney? God, no. <laughs> I see. Just keep drawing hands, I guess. <laughs> so Rodney, like, in a panic, is just sprouting more and more, mm -hmm. hoping it will help him somehow. Yeah, maybe, maybe the more arms you have, the better you are at finding water. Yeah. Um, so there... <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, Checks why out. not? Oh, you uh, know what? He should be wearing little... Since uh -huh. he's trying to find water. Oh, little booties? Yeah. Good. He should be wearing little, like, rain boots. Um, I have some questions for all hands. If, uh, you know, is, is this the, the questions portion of the all hands meeting? I think all hands just finds you cute, almost. Like, this effort that you're making, this great last stand, all hands finds it adorable. Uh, and they're just watching, like, the lens they see you through is just, like, your soul growing pure and pure as you make these dramatic moves and statements and, like, try to fight back against the inevitable entropy of the universe. Gotcha. Um, and they kind of just chuckle to themselves. <laughs> yeah, Ask I, away. So I guess my first question involves sort of your relationship with Lutvig. I know you came to him when he was uh, like a, a struggling yes. programmer. Desperate. Uh, what sort of, what was sort of the nature of the pact you guys made? Standard demonic agreement. Okay, so what is that? Like a, like a handshake or a... Blood. Blood, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, so you, you still, you have his blood still? So much. Okay, you got a lot of his blood, great. Uh, and then I guess the other little tidbit I'm interested in, you've got so many hands, they're all doing it's stuff. It's really distracting, to be honest. It's <laughs> it's also, yeah, I, uh, you know, I uh, grew up around mannequin legs, not hands, so. It's, this must be quite disconcerting. It's, it's disconcerting for sure. Um, you know, I don't know the next time I'm going to be able to talk to sort of a <laughs> omniscient, extraplanar entity about just sort of basic cosmology of the world we live in. So these soul ingots. Yeah. Is that just something that happens when people die, or is that you doing something to the soul? When a soul leaves a body, it enters a state of ethereal mist. Sure. Demons form these souls into ingots to use as currency. What you're doing is commodifying souls. That's shitty. Well, 
Sure, if you want to put a label on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's shitty. <laughs> and what you're doing is better. What I'm doing? Yes. Fighting you? <laughs> I think it's better, yeah. I think, I think it's pretty better. straightforwardly. Two sides of the same coin. No, I think you're doing some <laughs> evil guy speak. I think it's pretty much that's we're doing the good thing here. Yeah. One side of a mirror. <laughs> Fine, all right. Reflected. However, whatever you want to oh say. Oh god. You're insufferable. <laughs> Any other query? No, I think I want to I think I just want to defeat you. Very well. See the hands all clench into fists. Let's check in on uh Roxas drawing. What's going on? Oh, it looks like Rodney found a single drop. The the thing that actually uh, find he's just like summoning the power. Mm -hmm. He's just like, it's like his little. He's like, is there water here? Mm -hmm. And he summons this little face on top that's made <laughs> out of little droplets, and it either says like, maybe. Uh oh, it says maybe. Close. Helpful. Close. <laughs> close. Um, Getting warmer. And then when he's not using his power, he just it, he puts it away and then okay. he just walks around as a ring. So like while this is happening, Rox is like, well, that was a bust. I guess I got to just punch my way out of it again. Yeah, so she took off her tie. Mm -hmm. it's, it, you know, it's, it's fighting time. And um, Parker hasn't adjusted to being a human fully yet. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of just hanging around sitting like a cat. <laughs> Which is honestly kind of cute. Yeah. All right, so you team up uh, and you learn that there is maybe water here. <laughs> Great. Helpful information, thank you. <laughs> All right, so Roxa prepares her battle stance. The work day is over, it's time for the work to begin. Uh, so, Regina, that brings it to you. All right, so I'm thinking we've gotten this far together mm -hmm. as a group. And, and I'm finally having a moment in my mind where I'm like, so far, all this searching for fame has got me nothing. Mm -hmm. All the strangers out there, however many there may be who love my antics, mm -hmm. they've, they've done nothing to help me. But everything that I have done, I've done with Legsy and Rox. Aww. And we've gotten yeah. it done. Yeah. So I have, a, I have a special item request. OK. I'd like to use the friend switch bracelet. Oh. A magical, brightly colored bracelet that binds you and one other player together. You must now work together and take turns, switching every two minutes to complete the drawing. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to use it on both my friends. <gasps> and we form up with one drawing together in our mighty totem pole stack. Totem pole stack? To take down all hands. The legsy tall stack. I love legsy to stack. tall stack. <laughs> I love to stack. We must stack. Do we think that's allowed? Uh, I think it's allowed. You are going to have to roll against all hands to see if he's going to take it from oh, you. Oh, shit, of course. Can I do a wisdom roll? Yeah. All right, that's a 21. 21. <laughs> all hands roll a five. Great. <laughs> um, I think all hands like reaches out to try and take this item from you. Uh, and Bones McGee jumps in and says, No way! <laughs> Thanks, Bones McGee. Hey! Couldn't do it without you. Epiphany! God, I love that guy. <laughs> All right, so um, you're going to be using the friend switch bracelet to create a totem pole of power. Yes. Um, the way the friend switch bracelet works is you each get two minutes to draw. Why don't you start it off with um, whichever part of the totem you want to draw, and then we'll pass it around. All right, sounds good. Great. Roxa, how are you feeling about... Um, the lack of water in this chamber. I mean, I, I kind of want some water because I've been drinking this splish. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it is what it is. I'll do another roll to see if Rodney can find some water for you. What happened? What That's is it? That's a nat 20, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get wet. That's yes! a nat 20. Yes. The little frowny face on Rodney's dowser mm -hmm. goes from, like, to <laughs> and then just a <laughs> geyser appears. And honestly, it kind of like hits right underneath all hands. And they're like, oh, what is this? Uh, it kind of ruffles the demon's feathers a little bit. Um, so yeah, and now you have just like a geyser of water. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> I start like, I put my left hand in and I kind of try to deflect some into my mouth, you know? <laughs> you're not going to do that thing you do with a hose where you're just like, ah. Nah, you know, because I, I don't want to mess up the eyes. You know, mm -hmm. I, I am relying, I'm going to rely on my punch here, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would like to try to do a punch eventually, because this, yeah. guy's, this guy's all hands. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, that's a lot of fists to be making. That is true. For someone who uses their fists exclusively, fighting someone with so many fists will be your greatest challenge I'm yet. so excited. I hope he's strong. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a uh, guts roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I only got a 12. A 12. All okay. Right. Um, I think you're like up in the mix. Um, you're holding your own. Yeah. But you're not making any advancements. Like you're like dodging, you're like doing like lightning fast punches against all hands. Um, and eventually you kind of like lose your footing, you falter a bit and like bah, you get hit once or twice, but you're hanging in there. Makes you stronger. Every hit you take, every move you make, you'll be punching him. Yes. And that is time. All right, well, okay. got a bit of a Gina base here. Ah. You can see uh, Gina's not used to being the legs mm -hmm. of the operation. No. Uh, normally that's a, more of a legsy thing or maybe a rocks thing. Uh, legs shaking a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, you got this. But you got I think this, I'm, girl. I'm magically, you know, bolstering my bones a little bit to make myself oh. stronger so I can hold up. Your uh, own bones? My own bones, Your yeah. Your own bones? Yeah, it's a new thing I'm trying out. Wow. It's like I can do outside bones. What about the bones inside? That's very impressive. Got to focus bones, on those bones. Yeah, those bones are surrounded by like flesh and blood and stuff, and you hate all that. I don't, yeah, I'm not messing with that. Just mm. the bones. <laughs> Just making your bones bigger. Making my bones big. <laughs> I love it. Great strategy. Thank you. Um, I guess that's going to bring us to Legsy. Did you want to add to this stack? Yes, please. Awesome. So obviously, I'm on my trusted steed. No, Parker the Pony. Oh, Parker, no. Parker, I, I didn't agree <laughs> to have Parker the Pony as part of this stack. Uh, Parker the Pony is part of me, and therefore part of the stack. Our souls have become one. Yeah. No, they haven't. That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> we are bonded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to get to see a depiction of Parker the Pony, though. Yeah, for sure. Make sure he has really strong front <laughs> kneecaps, please. Oh, yes, sure. Yeah, for, for opening bottles. For opening bottles. <laughs> yeah. He squeezes them between that and his chin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, his strong his chin. His strong chin. I'm not going to get to draw myself. It's just going to be Parker on here, and I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> oh, yeah, go fast. <laughs> oh, wow, that <laughs> is eyes. a strong chin. Wow. I think Parker's like, sorry, my hooves are so sharp, Rajina. It hurts a lot, and I <laughs> wish you were dead. I use them for opening bottles. <laughs> Every part of my body is designed for bottle craft. <laughs> yeah, let's just I get a, we need to get a quick, quick legsy in here. Mm -hmm. A quick legsy. I'm so worried we're gonna run out of time. I know, at any moment. <laughs> oh, oh, hurry. Listen, this maybe is not our strongest form up we've ever done. <laughs> And it's it's never worked for us in the past. Look at this busting out this like South Park style legsy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Meggy. <laughs> Meggy, what's up? Whoa. So edgy. Eat now that ass. Whoa, legsy. Now that's twisted. Some of that butt wish yeah, charm. Jennifer butt wish just get in here. <laughs> Her soul still lingers. <laughs> the soul still burns. <laughs> All right. Wow. Damn, you busted that out real quick. Yeah. Well done. Nice work. Get the little strappies. Okay. Um, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, you got some bonus time. I do? Great, 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 great. Just a little. Here. Better hurry. Um, I guess I have another ear. <laughs> it's been said. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be time. Okay, great. You got it in, just under the wire. Wow. Nice what work. A, what a powerful pose we have going <laughs> on here so far. I'm very excited to see how uh, Roxa fits into this equation. That's a tongue, by the way, coming out of uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's a tongue yeah, obviously. coming out. It doesn't look that way from, at all. From the licks. Oh, yeah. Because we did some licks yeah, last episode. He's a cereal sprinkle licker. It's burned forever into my brain. <laughs> Love to lick. Uh, Roxa, would you like to add to this beautiful totem? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, timer is starting now. I'm trying to decide what's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the whole thing horizontal. And just be <laughs> launch us like a missile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> you turned this from a totem to a caber toss. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's like a Scottish Highland game where you uh, pick up a giant log and just fucking hurl it across a field. That sounds amazing. I'm glad I know what that is now. <laughs> <laughs> Launch us like a log, Ross. <laughs> Pretend we're a caber, <laughs> as is, they say. This is a perfect metaphor for our friendship. Yeah. Just us <laughs> us being dumb and Roxa <laughs> just carrying us the to victory. Fringe javelin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a powerful squat. <laughs> this stance. 
<laughs> powerful geometric squat. Your torso longer than ever before <laughs> <laughs> to accommodate the squat. All right. There uh, we go. There you go. Oh, the over the back pose is very yeah. powerful. That's got energy to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like you're about to do a big twist and throw us. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You do a big spin. Holy shit. Just like a. <laughs> this rules. Camera's going nuts. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm sure in the final edit we'll get like some real 360 degree fully animated, yeah. uh, you know, 60 FPS. Yeah, we're, sort getting, of shots. Uh, we're getting studio trigger on this. Yeah, oh, we're nice. Getting them just, in here. just for this episode. <laughs> just for this shot. Just for the, we, we could hire studio trigger to animate 10 seconds, <laughs> and it cost us <laughs> the entire rest of our budget. <laughs> we don't get paid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. Um, does, uh, does Roxas say anything to the gang as this is happening? Well, I imagine that, like, Rygina and, and Legsy mm -hmm. just, like, pointedly look at Rox, and Rox is just, like... She walks over. It's, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been practiced before. Oh, yeah. They, that's how we got the hole in our, our apartment wall. Oh, yeah. um, and that's going to be two minutes. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Give you a little extra time, because this is rad. And uh, there we go. Oh, you're grabbing me by my knife? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, no. technically, that's the hand with the tie wrapped around oh, okay. it. So, nice you work. know, it's probably. Yeah, I just realized that I'm very big. Yeah. Yeah, you're very, very large. We, uh, we've never practiced it with a pony before, and you're doing a great <laughs> job. Yeah. Yes, I imagine that the uh, addition of the, the pony was uh, a challenging factor, but you performed with flying colors. Uh, you pick all of your friends up into this friend missile. You spin around like you're about to blast out a shot put. Uh, and All Hands is already distracted by the giant geyser of water that is erupting uh, as a result of uh, Rodney. Yeah. So um, they do not see this coming at all. And I imagine it goes, are you launching it feet first? <laughs> or yeah. are you launching it with uh, Legsy's <laughs> daggers? No, nah, feet first. Feet first. You know, we, we didn't get a lot of time to practice this, mm -hmm. and we, we had said daggers first, but it's confusing. Like, I understand. Here's the thing. You launch it feet first. As you do this, uh, Gina, you summon all your strength. Your bones fully turn to metal, and you just, like, plummet right into all hands and metal deliver bones. An, an, an insane kick. Hell oh, yeah. Nice. An absolutely outrageous dive kick right into the meat of all hands. <laughs> Ah. This is beginning to be more trouble than it's worth. Um, and that brings us to Lexi. Hi. Hi. I would like to use an item. Okay. Um, all hands would like to try and steal that item. Okay. Let's do a roll. Am I cunning? Um, yes, you can use your cunning. Uh, let's do it in boxy. Yeah. All right, here we go. Boxy coming out for this important okay. roll. Are we both going to roll at the same time? Oh, I like that, yeah. Okay, I'm adding 10. Are you adding anything? You don't know. Okay. <laughs> what? What happened? what happened? Are you kidding me? We both rolled 20s. Double 20s? <laughs> Twin 20s? 2020s. 2020 vision. Are you take taking a, a picture? Take I a have pic. to take a picture of this. This is outrageous. Because uh, I need to also like delay so I can figure out what the fuck this means. <laughs> um, all right. We both hit 20s. I add plus 10. You add plus 10. Uh, this is a demon from a realm beyond existence and possibility. Uh -huh. um, so uh -huh. that's going to be a uh -huh. bonus as yeah. well. Is it plus 10, though? <laughs> 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 hmm, an all-powerful boss demon. Does he get plus 10, though? <laughs> we ju he just got kicked super hard he also. He did get kicked super hard. He's also true. pretty wet. Power of friendship. How many items do you have? Four? Uh, I have three and the gun. And the gun. <laughs> <laughs> he can take the gun. I don't want it. I'm going to roll um, a d4 uh, to see. Better not fuck up what I'm trying to how do. How many items he takes. Unbelievable. <laughs> My nat 20 doesn't do anything? I also got a nat 20. Unbelievable. <laughs> they cancel each other out. I hate this. <laughs> uh, let me roll. Rolled a three. I shoot him. <laughs> what? I, I, not, don't take my items. I shoot him in the. <laughs> You're defending your property. <laughs> don't you hate it, guns? I do, but I hate losing things more. <laughs> <laughs> 
see two sides of the same coin. No, <laughs> shut up. You're a demon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? Roll with advantage. Give me a cunning roll with advantage. Okay. Oh. That's a that's a two. That's gonna be a twelve. <laughs> but but you said advantage. Did you got me there? That's a twenty-five. Oh, let's go. All right, all right. Twenty-five. Um, yeah. All hands only takes two items. Okay, he can take the gun. Takes the gun. <laughs> <laughs> and he can take this egg because I don't know what it. I don't know what it does. <laughs> cool egg. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I would like to use okay. my historical haversack. All right. Are you uh, going to summon a, a figure from history? I would like to summon a figure from history. Tell me if I can do this. All right, all right. I would like to summon young Ludwig Vindersol. Okay. <laughs> now, normally it's a random historical figure? It is. It's what it says. Okay, all right. Um, this is pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, give me another roll. Uh, just a pure luck roll to see uh, who comes out. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> That's a 15. 15. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just because I want to see where this Dad. is going. <laughs> just because I want to see where this is going. Okay. Because this is some fuckery and I love it. Okay. All right. Um, so. <laughs> I summon Ludwig Vindersol uh, as his young, uh, struggling programmer self. Okay, before he's made the Before pack. he's made his pack. Okay. Um, all right, so you open up the, the sack. Uh-huh. Uh, Ludwig pops out. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pony! <laughs> I've always wanted a pony. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. Sorry, I was up coding all night. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I bet. love to code, you know, drink beer, code. It's just kind of like the Silicon Valley lifestyle. I'm just trying to disrupt the field, you know, with my cool app ideas. Yeah, totally. Have you heard of Hot Phone? That's one of my app ideas. I, I love actually, that idea. I have heard of it. It makes your phone hot. You should definitely pursue that one. <laughs> okay, so you've summoned uh, young Lutvig. Yes, uh, I'm gonna try and draw All right. a Lutvig. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the thing. You definitely summoned young Lutvig, but I feel like with a 15, uh -huh. um, it's definitely frazzled a little bit. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, this was not a clean summon. No. So like, maybe there is some like, uh, there's, temporal glitch. <laughs> yeah, there's some temporal glitching mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Right. Because here's the thing. I can't disrupt the timeline too much. I can't just tell him not to make his pack. Right. But what I can do, can you do? is give him something neat. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use your something neat ability? I want to gi give him something really neat, and you can decide whether this this idea is neat. All right. <laughs> and if it's not, then, you know, this was a huge waste of time. <laughs> but that's that's good television, too. That's pretty funny. Uh, All right. Uh, do you want to read real quick what that item does again? Uh, yes. The really neat thing. It's that really neat thing you always wanted. If you manage to draw it and everyone agrees you drew a neat thing, it's yours and aids you in this drawing. If your party is not impressed after you drew the neat thing, it was a fake. And you must draw it messing up your picture in some way. Okay. So you have to impress us with the neat thing. Yeah. This is kind of what he looks like, right? Yeah. Oh, I just need some coffee. I was up all night coding. Yeah, I get it. You code. Python, Ruby on Rails. <laughs> Roxa <laughs> leans into Regina and just goes, Who's that guy? <laughs> is he, I thought, is he dead? Here's the thing. This? There's two types of coders in the world. I want those who understand binary and those who don't. It's a fun little coding joke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Rox. There's no way this is going to be important. <laughs> Do I need to fight him now, too? <laughs> no, he seems fine. Mm. All right. Um, so I guess you've all like landed from the uh, the friendship javelin and are kind of like regaining position. Uh, what's your what's your next move? What are you thinking? I I'm just watching this unfold. <laughs> it's true. And like Legsy is doing like some wild shit. <laughs> it's true. Like Legsy just shot a guy with a gun. <laughs> and then pulled our, a man out of a sack. I shot a guy with the gun and then threw <laughs> then the gun gave at him. Then gave him the gun. <laughs> I did one of those things where you go like, ugh. <laughs> but there was still ammo in it. So now he can shoot the gun back at us. But you know, honestly. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, that gun probably has six bullets in it. You shot him how many times? 
I don't know. How many times did I shoot? <laughs> I think it was just one shot. Enough to stop him from stealing the two items I needed to do this combo. Yeah, he shot. Uh, you shot one time. There's uh, five bullets left. Um, <laughs> Is he going to shoot at us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just fighting a demon with a gun now. Yep. Gun demon. Give me cunning rolls. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any cunning. That's a 24 for me. 10. <laughs> oh, no. Not 20, baby. Whoa, really? Yeah. Holy shit, the 20s are out to play. Rox is impervious to bullets. This yeah. is too many 20s for one episode. It's it's the finale. This is where this they is are bad needed. bad writing. <laughs> <laughs> um, all hands basically like, just like trying to get you, but you like grab Regina and then you're just like running along the edge. You're hiding behind all of the soul ingots. Uh, <laughs> All hands actually hits one or two of the ingots, and he's like, oh, shit. You see a soul go like, oh, where am I? <laughs> like, oh, sucks to be you right now. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> don't have time to explain. I was in Hexaco on a cruise. Is this Hexaco? This doesn't look like my port of call. Might be. Did I miss the boat? Yeah, you missed it by a little bit. Dang. <laughs> Guess I'll go back to Senior Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they float off in search of senior frogs. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? I don't know. It's it's pretty convoluted, uh -huh. and it might be a bad idea. <laughs> but but you're trying it, and I'm, that's what's important. I'm trying it because mm -hmm. why not? So basically, basically, <laughs> Ludwig, <I can't> wait. <laughs> Ludwig loves ponies, right? He does love ponies. Ludwig loves ponies. Ludwig had to give a bunch of his blood <laughs> as part of the pact. <laughs> yes. Uh, what if, what if there was some stuff in that blood? What if there was some neat stuff in that blood? Okay. <laughs> some, some anti-demon juice. <laughs> that is time, time activated. Time activated anti-demon juice? Is that what you just said yeah. to me? Yeah, it's a pretty good idea. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Anti-demon juice? <laughs> Is it like invisible ink? Uh, yeah. Well, because what happens is mm -hmm. it's 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 instant. Okay. Uh, it's instant juice. Instant so, juice. So you have to add water, <laughs> and he just got blasted with a bunch of water. Uh, that is true. Here's the thing. That's a pretty neat idea. Um, and I guess as the as the item says, it's kind of up to <laughs> the other players. <laughs> to determine how effective this anti-demon juice yeah, is. Yeah, if it's, if it's fake, that's cool. I can draw that messing everything up, yeah. and we can just get on with it, and, you know, this, th we can all forget about this horrible <laughs> thing that I've done. No, Nathan, please, this is a gift. <laughs> This so is a beautiful gift. Parker is administra administering. Well, because he loves ponies. Mm -hmm. and, you know, needles can be uh, traumatic for mm -hmm. people. So I figured Parker would be the best one to do it. And I'm sort of walking him through it. Mm. That's very nice of you. Also, I don't know if I'd be able to reach. So this is Parker. This is Parker. Oh, yeah, I, I got to give him his strong chin if and you would, knees. Mind. Yeah. I... Pointy knees. Pointy knees. Thank you. I mean, it's a weird bad idea, but you did draw Parker, and now I get to look at Parker again. Mm -hmm. So there's a plus there. Um, yeah, again. Uh, He's a little he, loopy from the time travel. Sure. <laughs> He's got like, yeah, I think it might be a uh, Sound of Thunder situation where maybe he's got like a dinosaur tail now. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> or it's like uh, that Simpsons episode where he's got a, a snake tongue. <laughs> or both. I think I hit a dinosaur. <laughs> um, okay, Roxa, Regina, how are we feeling about this plan? <laughs> This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard <laughs> in my entire life. Demon, Anti-demon juice isn't even a thing. It's, it, it could be, it's, if you think it's neat. I don't think it's neat, I think it's <laughs> lame. I think it's lame and dumb, and I'm disappointed in you. Um, here's the thing. That's not me, Jacob, talking about it, that's Gina. Oh, because okay. you're kind of part demon. What, well, it's, it's anti, um, oh, you know what it is? It's trust buster juice, because he, he, he consumed all the other demons, so maybe it doesn't destroy him, but it undoes, it undoes the, the merger. It does. It undoes the merger. <laughs> Trustbuster juice is even dumber. <laughs> no, just when I think it can't get dumber, Trust you find Buster a way. Trustbuster juice is pretty good, I think. <laughs> I like demon juice. I'm kind of bound by what Regina and Roxa want, uh, but I haven't heard from Roxa yet on the plan. <laughs> anti demon juice plan. <laughs> Operation anti demon juice. Roxa's confused. <laughs> 
Roxa doesn't understand what's happening. Uh huh. Um, and her gut is to say no, but yeah. she also doesn't want to upset her friend no, with some sort of negativity. It's okay. So you're saying we have a tiebreaker situation. Sometimes you just have to try stuff. Mm hmm. And so it doesn't she's always just sweating work. a little bit. <laughs> Because Rox loves to support her friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also this is, she doesn't actually believe in this thing. <laughs> Sometimes when you have a cunning score of 10, you, you think of things that other people don't, <laughs> and it's really cool and good. Rox is kind of having one of those moments where one of her friends has gotten into like a really fake product and mm -hmm. is trying to sell her on it. She's like, Look, I want to support you and your business, but also this doesn't work. Um, it might. Can I tell you what happens? I'd love to know. Yeah. Because I know what happens. Oh, you already decided. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, because while the plan to inject Ludwig with uh, anti-demon juice, am I getting that right? Or antitrust <laughs> juice, whichever's less dumb. You said anti-demon juice first. I did. Um, I don't think that that works. No, um, of course as not. As far as like making it Invisible ink when uh, Ludwig writes the contract in his blood. Uh huh. But you know what it does do uh, is it poisons him and he dies. <laughs> Wait, did we kill Ludwig? <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> Which means. Oh no! That he was never alive to make this contract. Um, which you might think means that Questly HQ is no more. But what actually happens is you feel kind of this like temporal tremor. <laughs> Uh, and then you look down at your phone, at your Questly app, and you look at the About page, and you see that there's a new CEO. Oh, no. Is it Al Alpis? <laughs> <laughs> Alpis, of course, acquired uh, Questly after starting his own amazing company. Um, Shit. And you see that the vault Gross. Oh, he did a better job. <laughs> Al Piss was a better CEO. Lexi! <laughs> um, you know, sometimes can't make breakfast without breaking a few souls. That's what I always This is say. a lot of souls. This is worse. Question. Uh, this is worse. Yes. Do I have the same amount of money? Uh, <laughs> roll a d20. <laughs> well, we didn't break any more of his bones. It's true. I got a two. <laughs> I may uh, have gotten myself a two. You have 20% as much money as you did before. <laughs> Alpis um, does not pay well. No, no, oh, no, yeah. no. He didn't He didn't. All right, hold on, I got to do some yeah. math. We just undid all the good works we did. <laughs> you did undid the unionization. Oh, no. I mean, this is what it takes. You take big swings. Sometimes they fall flat. Um, Guys, <laughs> I think I did a bad. <laughs> Listen, Lexi. <laughs> can we get? Can we? Can we please get some last words from from from, from, uh, Ludwig. from Ludwig, from young Ludwig, who was cut down too soon by? I could have sworn. Yeah, I'm just like looking at the. Um, I gotta be like reading the the label on the anti demon juice. <laughs> Warning, do not put in elf. Oh, he was an elf. We give him his pointy elf ears. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Reminder. Um, this well, is amazing. Well, this is so good. Is it? Yes! <laughs> this is what it's all about, this journey we've taken here. Yes. I guess my soul is worth less now, at least. <laughs> well, I think you were you were you had the purest of intentions. There you go. You yeah. know? You, you made a big play, Legsy, and I admire that. And if you'll notice, you're not the one that administered <laughs> Parker's the anti demon soul. <laughs> Parker's soul is blackened with this <laughs> transgression. <laughs> Guess I'm going to hell. Oh, good. I'm reading that. Um, so, yeah, you see uh, the veins around the injection site start to kind of like blacken, and Ludwig's like, oh no, my blood is sick. <laughs> Uh, at least I got to see a pony. <laughs> I got to give it to that guy. He has character consistency, <laughs> and I like that about him. Uh, don't worry, uh, Ludwig is running with the ponies forever now. 
<laughs> Guys, I don't know if I can afford a train ticket home. <laughs> I don't think the train runs here, Rocks. We're gonna have to find a different way anyways. All right, so. <laughs> this drawing is ridiculous. <laughs> you were so close. I don't think I was. <laughs> You know, in my mind, it sounded cooler. Mm -hmm. That's Sometimes you got to run things by your friends before you just take big swings. That's the important lesson there. Anyway, That's here, here are, are all for. the rest of my items. <laughs> uh, beautiful narrative threaded between them. Uh, thank you for your service. You try something, <laughs> it goes a little sideways. <laughs> I can't believe we've been working for Al Piss this whole time. <laughs> I know, I feel dirtier. Yeah. I can't believe we finally did a murder. Aw. <laughs> it's true, you did one murder. We didn't even, well, Parker did it. Mm. Parker did the murder. Parker the pony Parker, how it. do you feel about what you've done? <laughs> You're all complicit. <laughs> <laughs> you see that All Hands looks pretty thoroughly annoyed at this point <laughs> with all this fuckery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it says, he's still pretty wet. Absolutely, but now wet with rage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You still defy my will. <sighs> Have you forgotten what I am? I know your desires. I know your fears. Everyone has a price. And I know yours better than any. Um, it pauses to consider something. Still, your souls show infinite potential. Perhaps I should test their limits. Yes. If you won't give me what I want, then I will take the one thing you need more than anything else. Our souls? Each other. Oh, oh no. Hey. All hands shoots its limbs in three different directions and begins clawing at the air. Uh, you see the fabric of the air begin to rip and tear like wrapping paper. As all hands grabs each of you and tosses you into a different rift. Remember me from before I did the, the, <laughs> this thing. Now your soul shall mature in the vaults of your own desire. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then everything goes dark. Huh. Hey, Julia. Hey, Caldwell. How you doing? Uh, I'm okay. This is this is weird. This is different, yeah. Yep, this feels bad. Roxa is currently in an ancient elven library. <laughs> You're surrounded on all sides by impossibly high bookshelves. Uh, you adjust your glasses and page through a tome on monster identification and theory. It's been about a week since you started working here. Um, your dad obviously got you the job. Um, you know, as you recall, you graduated early from adventuring college, uh, aced all of your punching arts classes, um, and basically kind of went on like a world tour, just like punching monsters, uh, killing monsters. Um, basically, you punched every monster in existence into extinction, and now there's no more monsters. Mm. You did too good a job, uh, and unfortunately, you know, it's been about uh, a year or so since your grand monster punching world tour, and you can't just sit around forever punching nothing. You tried that, uh, accidentally punched a human, and uh, you went to jail for a bit. So you're kind of on like a rehabilitation uh, retreat, if you will. Um, your dad obviously volunteered to help you out. So you're working in the library now, and uh, you're paging through this book about monsters when uh, your dad taps you on the shoulder. Says, hey, 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 Roxa, how's it going? Hey, Dad. How, how are you? Huh. You were kind of zoning out yeah. there again, like yeah, you do. Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, what language is this? Oh, okay. that that's uh, uh, Arcane Sylvain, I believe. You can tell because of the uh, ligatures there. Was I supposed to know this language? Uh, you know, in, in good time, hon, in good time. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll work on it at home. Uh, but for now, you know, I, I brought us some lunch. Uh, why don't we go sit down? Yeah, I should, I should probably take a break. Yeah. Uh, she kind of just like chucks the book a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you go with your dad. Uh, he pulls out a sandwich for each of you. Um, and you kind of like sit and you're eating your lunch um, and you're kind of thinking. You've had this feeling for a while now, kind of this like 
gnawing at the back of your head that something isn't quite right, that there's something missing, and something has always been missing. You're not sure what it is, but every time you think about it, you feel a little better. And so you, you finish eating lunch with your dad, and then you go back to uh, stocking books. He's kind of got you doing some lower tier jobs at the moment. Uh, you know, he's confident you'll figure it out, but right now you're just um, you're still working on that Dewey Decimal. So he wants to make sure you've got uh, all the support you need. Um, you're working on the what? The Dewey Decimal. You know, it's the numbers. It's, the, it's how we file the books. Um, Who? Is that the guy at the front counter, Dewey, De Dewey Decimal? No, that's that's Arturo. You know that, honey. We've talked about Arturo, remember? Who's Arturo? He sits at the front desk. That's not Dewey Decimal. No, Dewey Decimal is a system, not a... You know what? Here, I got this big stack of books. Why don't you just go put those uh, over in Section 17? Where's that? Before Section 16, West Wing? Where's that? That's... Okay, um... West never eat slimy worms, remember? So West, that, that's going to be on your left side. So, is it left? He comes with you <laughs> okay. uh, and, and shows you to the bookshelf. And uh, like once you make sure that you're okay, he departs. And as you're stalking these books, that feeling comes back in your head. Yeah. You feel like you've seen something better. You feel like there's a better world than this, but you can't quite remember it. But you just feel like if you could draw on that feeling, then maybe you could get back to that better world. And so for your challenge, Roxa, I want you to literally draw the lost connection that you have to this other world. Draw the thing that triggers you finding your way back to the world that you've lost. Right. I know that's a big challenge, but... Yeah. <laughs> All right. OK. I think I got this. You think you got it? Yeah. All right. I hope so. I have faith. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Right. Uh, so, what are you thinking? Um. Well, I mean, the only thing Rox has been good at so far mm -hmm. in uh, this job has been the fact that she can carry just so many books. <laughs> that is true. I imagine that a lot of the librarians have Renault level weak shoulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, not me. Yeah. I'm, of, uh, I'm real good at that. It's true. It's probably a lot of like gnomes riding on those ladders uh, that they have on all the bookshelves, um, and they can probably only get like one or two under their arms before they're just totally tuckered out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, you're just chucking yeah. around lots of books. They keep telling me how to put them back on the shelves. I don't really get it. Um, I kind of just. <laughs> you keep putting them <laughs> with the pages facing out, <laughs> sweetie. That's not. It, that's not helpful. Oh, okay. I rotate it and put it on its spine. <laughs> Is that? No, it's just sticking way out now. Oh, um, <laughs> but that's like easier to, to grab, you s slide it. You know, you are always think on the, the side of ingenuity. You're really, uh, really cunning, really clever. Um, how has your time as a librarian been thus far? You know, it's been rough. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying my best because um, I want to make my dad proud. Mm -hmm. He's just, he's really good at this stuff. Yeah. But I don't, I don't really get it, you know? Mm hmm It's, um... It's true, you've only read like one, two books maybe? And I do think that when you were at Venture in yeah. College, uh, a lot of your professors probably gave you a pass. Uh, punching arts does not require many tomes. Yeah, no. My professors kind of told me how to like work out a little bit, <laughs> do some stretches. They, uh, they had textbooks for it, but mm -hmm. um, I, I did uh, put a, a pole through all of them mm -hmm. and just used it for working <laughs> out. And you got an A plus for that. I did, mm -hmm. you know? So it looks like you see a book. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding a, a stack of books because, mm -hmm. you know, again, um, just really good at holding uh, stacks of books. Mm -hmm. The heavier um, tomes with like big sacred information. Some of them like maybe are actually enchanted to be more dense. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of uh, magical books in this place. Mm -hmm. um, this one, this one's really, uh, this one's really sparking something Ooh, for me. What is this book? Um, How to. 
reading this slowly. I feel like I'm working <laughs> out. The... We're reading this in real time with Roxa. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Do you miss an S there? Is is <laughs> integral. <laughs> Words are complicated, Roxa. This looks. Is... She's like, wait, no, that's not. Is that the word? No. Wait, <laughs> I for in in. Insta. Insta. Your, your dad walks by and looks at this book and goes, ah, I forgot that we stocked that. Uh, you, you can put that one on its spine if you want. I don't think anyone's going to be checking is, it out. Is Instagram a, a, like a, a temple? Is it like a, a... I don't know. I don't keep up with these trends, sweetie. Okay. Um, is that... I mean, there's something about it that's really making me think about... I don't know. There's something... Well, you know, don't don't dwell on it too hard. I know that, uh, you know, you focus in a little too much, and then it's uh, it's hard to pull you back out sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, just why don't you? Oh, what's that book down there? Um, it's How to Hunt uh, Bodeganars. Uh huh. Had to really figure out the spelling of Bodeganar <laughs> on the fly. That's the official spelling now. Spelling also not my strong suit. Mm -hmm. Um and um. And uh, this this next book just really, um, it just says legs. <laughs> it just says legs. Is legs where? Is where? You see the is word legs. Is this a legs. travel guide? <laughs> you see just the word legs written on a book, and that feels off to you. There's clearly <laughs> no reason. Even you know that there's no reason for the word legs to be written on the side of a book. Yeah. And you think on that. And you think, and you think, and you think, and eventually just the word comes out of your mouth. Legsy. And then you look back at the Instagram book and you think, Regina? Why do I know those names? And then all of a sudden, whoosh! Both rows of library shelves just whoosh past you at high speeds. Whooshing, whooshing, whooshing. Whoosh. And then all of a sudden, you're back in the corruption. And with that, Let's take it over to Regina. Hello. Hi. It's Hi. lonely here. <laughs> it's lonely. It's lonely times now. Uh, I checked my clock. It's time for introspection. How about that? Let's do it. All righty. Um, so, Regina, you're walking through downtown Philadelphia. You look good. Damn, yes. The wind is blowing your long, luscious hair just right, and your outfit? Oh, your outfit, it's fucking on point. Wouldn't have it any other way. So as you're walking, um, you see people just like looking at you being like, oh, it's her, yeah, it's her. Taking pictures, snapping pictures. Sure, sure. Uh, somebody comes up uh, with a Nebuchadnezzar of wine, which is one of those enormous bottles. That's too like, big. I know you don't normally do the bottle gal thing anymore, but like for a picture, would you mind? Well, just for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> People are flipping out. Um, you try to stay for longer for more photos, but your assistant whisks you away to another photo shoot that you've got to get to. From there, of course, uh, you've got a clothing line to launch. You barely have time for lunch, which of course for you is a uh, charcoal infused uh, liquid glass of uh, boneless nugs. Naturally. No bones in there, unfortunately. Literally the only thing I eat. <laughs> so you're going from shoot to shoot. Uh, you're exhausted, but like, Everyone loves you. Like, there is just adoration pouring in from all sides. Uh, but at the end of the day, you go home and you're alone. And while you're alone, you have time to think. And you think about the fact that even though you're surrounded by all these people, all these adoring fans, all these uh, sycophants, you don't have any confidence in yourself. You're kind of always second guessing what to do and what to think. And that's fine because there are people telling you what to do and what to wear and what product to hold in your hand for the next Instagram ad. But when you're home alone, that's when those thoughts start to creep back in. And that's when you get that tug at the back of your brain, that scratching about something else, something you're missing. Why don't you try and draw what's missing? Yeah, I think I'm, I go into the bathroom. Okay. And I'm looking in the mirror mm -hmm. and I'm seeing this this Gina, you know, beautiful, Gina. decked out to the nines, mm -hmm. 
and all of this uh, finery. Yeah, mm -hmm. a star, you know. Bonafide. And I'm looking and I'm seeing this, and I'm like, if that's what I'm seeing and it's what other people see, then why do I feel so worthless? <laughs> oh. Like, why do I feel like none of this is real? It all feels like glamour and glitz sitting on top, mm -hmm. but there's nothing underneath. And, and I feel like, and I don't know why I feel this way, like there was a time when I felt different. There was a time when I felt actual confidence, when I felt like assured in the person that I was. Mm. And I don't know when that time was or if it was even real. Just to clarify, you're in the bathroom? Yes. Okay, uh, you have an incredibly fancy bathroom. Thank you. That's very good to know. <laughs> you have four bidets. I'm sitting on one of my four bidets. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? What is this? What are you drawing? I'm, I'm getting a little, uh, you know, let's go a little abstract with yeah, this let's, one, let's you know? Let's zoom the camera in. Let's get there. Let's zoom in deep. I love it. Um, oh. So Gina's looking in the mirror, staring at herself, mm -hmm. and she runs her hands through her long, luscious locks mm -hmm. of hair all Beautiful. the way down her back. Wow. And I look at the locks, and something about it feels wrong. Mm -hmm. It feels like this is part of this fake world that I'm living in, where no one is telling me anything true. You know, everyone's just clout chasers. Exactly. Honestly. It's really shameful <laughs> <laughs> that anyone would chase fame <laughs> when there's so much more important stuff out there. Despicable. Despicable. So, so uh, Gina picks up a pair of golden scissors. Oh and looking in the mirror, feeling like, for the first time in a long time, I'm doing something for me that is my choice and my decision and not dictated by, by anyone else. And, uh, you know, takes out these golden scissors and then takes one big snip, mm -hmm. just right up here, next to the oh, ear, one big snip out close. of these long, these long locks of hair. As you do that, you look back in the mirror, and for the first time in quite a while, maybe since college, you feel a little more like yourself, and you kind of smile, but not in that like fake Instagram smile way. You, you do an actual smile, one that shows a little bit of your demonic tooth. And like as you're smiling in the mirror, you kind of see the mirror like, curving around you, and then all of a sudden, on either side, it's like you're on a train. Just the landscape begins. <laughs> you see your bidets flying into the background. <laughs> and then it gets faster and faster and faster, and then you're back in the corruption. And that brings us, at long last, to Legsy. Whew, whew, hi. Hi, this is different. A little different, huh? A little different. Different isn't always bad. I miss my friends. Oh, that is bad. That aspect is yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. But you do have your work to keep you company. Uh, and by work, I mean your job as the head cook for Eggsy Shortstack's diner. Oh. Uh-huh. So uh, it's a early Saturday morning. Uh, the rush is in. You're slammed. Oh, yeah. You're uh, wiping sweat from your brow as you fry up plate after plate of hash browns and eggs, pancakes. It's just the tallest stacks of pancakes and flapjacks. Um, you see a large minotaur walks up and places an order. Hi, right, yeah, can I get a huge plate of eggs? Mm -hmm. Two massive egg sandwiches. Heck yeah. Plate of cat food hash. Mm, sure. And uh, three cold sprinkle omelets. Great, okay, uh, yeah, you know, you should really come up with better names for these dishes. They're, uh, they're kind of hard to remember. Uh, you know, that's that's actually a great tip. Mm -hmm. um, if you, I actually do have a suggestions box oh, for uh, if, if, if you have ways you, you want to improve the restaurant, uh, you can write that down and uh, leave it right there. And I uh, point to a trash can. Hmm. <laughs> the Minotaur looks at you for a second, just goes, <sighs> and then sits down. It was a, a lighthearted goof, I thought. Customers, customers come here for the food, but they never, never like my goofs. <laughs> so you uh, start working on this Minotaur's order. Yep, yep, yep. Um, you are like pretty good at this. Um, you've got like a line out the door. Yeah, I mean it's, it's my passion. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the fact that you've been up since like 4 a.m. Uh, maybe it's like just like the heat and the fumes. Yeah. 
um, but you're starting to feel like a little off. Specifically, you feel like something kind of like tugging at the back of your head, like a... Did my hair get stuck on something? No, or? and it's not It's not flies. You got rid of the flies. I got rid of the flies. Yeah, that I got rid of the super flies. Mm -hmm. The super flies that ate all the normal flies. Yeah, I yeah. thought that, you mm -hmm. know, it was a... No, this is, this is occurring... Situation, yeah. This is occurring on a more mental level. Um, you just feel like, as much as you like things now, you remember a time when things were better. Not specifically a time, but like a timeline almost. You just have this recollection, this like slight spark of something, of a time, of a place, of an existence where you remember things being better, but you don't quite know why they were better. Huh. And you can't quite shake the feeling that you could get back to that existence if you just tried, if you could just draw on something. And that is what I would like you to do. Draw on something. Draw on something, specifically this tablet, and uh -huh. specifically draw on this connection to this unseen force that made your world better. Okay. All right? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. That it, it does feel, you know, it's... No one really appreciates my goofs the mm -hmm. way I want them mm -hmm. to. And, you know, cooking... It's a very personal thing. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's a connection. Someone... Someone, something that you made is literally going inside another, another person. It's providing them sustenance, and I, I think there's, there's something about that that's that's magical. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. Sometimes you don't just want to be making something to be consumed. Sometimes you just want to exist and be appreciated for, for you, yeah. not not for what you make or do, but just you and know, who you are. just for just for being yourself. And uh, so I think Legsy. She, she's gotten like this before. Sometimes, uh, you know, usually she tries to save it for not during rush hours, but mm -hmm. uh, she can tell she's not focusing the way she should be on the food and uh, she doesn't want it to suffer. So she's gonna uh, finish plating um, the food for the Minotaur. Mm -hmm. um, say, you know, you may not have liked the goofs, but I think you're gonna like the eggs. <laughs> and uh, she's gonna say, uh, sorry guys, I'm, I'm going on break. I, I, I hand the, the kitchen over to my sous chef, Dillip. You see Dillip runs out from the back and goes, yes, ma'am, this is quite an honor. I will do my very best just, to prove myself. Just stick to the menu, Dillip. Just That's stick right. to the menu. Okay. Don't alter it. You see Dillip, as soon as you walk out the door, starts like doing uh, sword in the stone style magic spells to try and make all the eggs Dillip. dance in the air. He's just, he's so into arcane gastronomy. <laughs> and I, I tell him, you know, that 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 has its place in, in the culinary world, but you have to master the fundamentals first. You can't just go for showmanship. <laughs> uh, he breaks two eggs, uh, and the eggs, uh, like, scoop up off the floor into one uh, weird egg monster and just start going like, ah! I, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I, um, so I, I, go, I go for a walk. Um, where do you go? I go to the part of town uh, where I get my ingredients, mm -hmm. sort of the, the, the food wholesalers, the, um, the, the place you, you can buy all the, the fresh produce. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, walking down there. It's, it's therapeutic. It's sort of my morning routine. Every morning I go there, I get, I get my eggs, I get my, my taters. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pick up an onion and like look at it. Yeah, pick up an onion and look at it. That sort of thing. But, oh, I um, like that you're wearing a, a chef's hat, by the way. Oh, thank you. Obviously, yeah. you would, but it's like specifically that kind of chef's hat. It makes me taller. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So it looks like something's catching your eye. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm thinking it's it's weird. It's mm -hmm. like I I feel drawn to here. Mm -hmm. Like not only is this sort of my place of zen, but something else seems to be like pulling me. You know, sometimes when you just feel like walking, and you don't know where you're walking or yeah. why you're walking that way, but mm -hmm. your, you legs, like a, your legs seem to know, and Legsy trusts her legs. <laughs> if you can trust anything, it's your legs. Yeah. So, um, you know, you got your, your buildings here, yeah. sort of these warehouses that house various. So, like, we're going past the, the eggery, <laughs> Gregory's eggery, <laughs> and uh, 
She keeps. My eggs aren't the dregs, says Gregory. Yeah. In his commercial. Yes, he does. And uh, I love it because I love a goof. There's one you thing goof. Legsy enjoys mm -hmm. it's a goof. So, how has it been going at work? It's fine, you know? Like, it, it's, it's great. People like my food. It's just, you know, it's lonely. Uh, Dillip's, Dillip. Dillip's great, mm -hmm. but he's not, he's a coworker. He's mm -hmm. not, he's not a friend. So she's walking down, yeah. just looking for a sign, just sort of any sort of sign, mm -hmm. something that reminds her of a different time, a time that existed, but also doesn't exist, doesn't yeah. make a ton of sense to no. her. No, and I think that like, Again, you don't normally walk this way. Mm -hmm. Like you make it to the eggery, but you yeah. don't go further. Yeah, it's usually it goes vegetables, and then you get into the proteins. Mm -hmm. And I usually stop at the eggery right, because, right, right. Uh, yeah. But something about this particular store mm -hmm. that catches her eye. What could it be? Uh. <laughs> oh, legs. <laughs> There it is. And uh, I think Legsy just stops and stares at this baffling deal. <laughs> this deal that seems too good to be true. <laughs> Much like her life. Mm -hmm. um, oh. This deal that's too good to be true and she, she just sort of stares at it and contemplates what it means. It's like what is, what kind of chicken? Like what, it just says chicken. It doesn't say an amount of chicken. Do you do you go in? I go in. I do. I go in the the door mm -hmm. to the store. Right. And I I, I think I, I fa faster than than she even realizes she's walking. She sort of bursts through the doors yeah. and just shouts, "How much chicken?" You see, this is almost a routine for the employees at this point. They all look up from what they're doing and they say, "A fuck ton." And as soon as you hear the phrase. A fuck ton. Something happens. Yeah. The room starts kind of blurring around you. You see nuggets just blasting past you on all sides. Some of them have Roxas face on it. Some of them have Regina's face Roxas. on it. Some of them even Regina. have Parker's face on it. They're coming faster and faster. It's a hyperspeed blur of nuggets. You can barely take it until <laughs> you're back. You're back in the corruption. And you look over and realize you're not the only one. Regina and Roxa are back too. You're all back. Hey, you guys. made it. What took you so long? <laughs> I, I had to make so many breakfasts. Oh, that's understandable. <laughs> so much cat food hash. <laughs> it was a popular item. Um, you guys didn't also own breakfast joints in yours, right? No, mine was a different thing. Okay. No, but did you know that West is left? <laughs> Look at on, you, Ross. On maps. <laughs> on maps. And, not, and in, not just always. <laughs> we, we can talk about directions later. We've got a demon to kill. Well, one of your hand makes a L. is going on? You, you used your connection to each other's souls to open rifts? That, that shouldn't be possible. But it's amazing. A demon could retire on souls like that alone. All right. No more games. I must have your souls. No! Ooh, jeez. Hey, we'll retire you. <laughs> Clever, yeah. but not good enough. You see all hands, finally, sick of your game, sick of this foolishness, breaches out all of its hands. They plunge through your body, Ugh. pulling out your souls. No, get out of Slowly, there. Slowly, you see oh. in the hands of this demon, the glowing iridescent bricks, pure souls. Legsy, maybe yours is a little less pure, but all <laughs> fairly pure. I was pure. trying something. <laughs> God damn. I thought it would, I thought it was neat. <laughs> I see, thought it was neat. <laughs> you see these souls being pulled slowly out of your bodies by all hands. Uh, you can feel yourself fading watching this brick being pulled, like watching it dangle above you. Uh, but then, bars begin to glow even brighter, and their forms begin to shift. 
And you see all hands go through. What is, what is happening? And then the souls burn the demon's hands and it retracts right. its many arms. Oh, oh, that's right, bitch. They've become too pure. <laughs> oh, how can this be? You see your soul is now beginning to shift its form. It floats over to your hands and becomes a weapon shaped by your determination. Oh, yeah. And for your final drawing challenge, I want you to draw that very weapon. Hell yes, dude. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. I'm up first? You're up first. All right. Same initiative. Let's do it. OK. All right. I'm going to start, of course, mm -hmm. with so, so in that other world that yeah. I was in, I, I just punched things to extinction. Mm -hmm. uh, Whoa. Yeah. So like. That's rad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my punches are pretty damn good. I'm going to keep with it. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to start off, of course, with like a, a fist. Oh. You know? Right. I mean, that is your weapon of choice. Yeah. So you're just drawing like a big soul-powered fist? A soul fist. A soul, soul fist, fist, if you will. Do you have a Hulk hand now? <laughs> 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 the base of the weapon is a Hulk hand. <laughs> <laughs> is this a sock -em bopper situation? <laughs> a spiritual sock -em bopper. <laughs> a metaphysical Hulk hand. Um, yeah, that's actually a good question. Did you talk to each other briefly about like where you were, what happened? Well, I found out that you guys didn't op own and operate breakfast places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. No, that wasn't part of mine at all. OK. Um, in mine, I was famous. I was famous on Instagram. I was famous everywhere. Oh. Cool. And um, everyone wanted to talk to me. Everyone wanted photos of me. Uh-huh. Um, everyone wanted me to open bottles for them. <laughs> nice. Uh, it ruled. Oh. <laughs> Well, thanks for leaving that behind and coming back. <laughs> well, what didn't rule as much is that um, I lost all my confidence and faith in myself because I realized that a lot of that comes from the power you guys give me through your love and friendship. Uh, but that sounded cheesy as hell, so I kind of didn't want to say it. Uh, I appreciate that you did. Thanks for pulling that, it out of me, though. That means a lot that you said that. Yeah, yeah. I know that just saying that was hard. It's so lame is the problem. <laughs> it sounds like one of Rox's animes. Uh, you should Flipping is Your Destiny? It's just like Flipping is you Your Destiny. You should watch Flipping is Your Destiny with us. I'm it's good. Not, I told it's you. It's good. You would like it. All right, one episode. Yeah. I'll do one episode, and we'll see how I feel. Are you talking about anime? Apparently, it's good. <laughs> you see all hands uh, after being burned by your spiritual weapon starts charging back at you, kind of like crawling along the ground on all of their many hands. Uh, and actually, uh -oh. you see as they do that, they are being a pure rage at this point. All of their facade of business and uh, the soul exchange and like the market and just everything they were saying before is gone. They are just a feral beast now. Uh, and you see their final, final form unveil. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> it just keeps getting cooler. It's, you're really cool looking. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry you suck so much. I love your whole thing. I don't care how powerful these souls are. I will have them. You greedy motherfucker. <laughs> So yeah, um, you see they're almost just this like serpent made of hands and they start <laughs> slithering back towards you. And you guys all start pulling out these soul weapons. Let's see what uh, Rox has got going on. Fist. It's a fist. It's a fist. Heads up, guys. It's a fist. Still a but fist. But it's a big fist. It's Still a big fist. Big. It's okay. a big fist. Big this is fist. the hard thing about drawing sometimes is like, before the scale is put in place, you think, right. oh, that's a normal fist. Oh, here we go. What's impressive about that fist? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. The fist is maybe too big. <laughs> <laughs> No. One note. That's a good sized fist. God. So like, you see your soul bar just take the form of this massive fist that you are of course controlling because like, you've somehow managed to keep control of your soul outside of the body, which is like unheard of. This connection you have is somehow allowing you to like manipulate reality in a way that shouldn't be possible. And I that's- mean, uh, we were almost verified on Questly, so. <laughs> 
Don't mean to brag about it, but... <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hold on, um, I'm seeing more fish coming in? <laughs> we got a report heading our way. We got fists. We got several fists. <gasps> this is your eye in the sky. Uh, we are looking at several fists that are rocket fists, in fact. Oh yeah, get some NOS coming out of those. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so much NOS. Well, here's the thing. This seems like a big pivotal moment, and mm -hmm. I didn't get to talk about where I went mm -hmm. uh, in my other world. But um, where I was, you guys weren't there, and I was like, basically I had punched all the monsters, you know, and there were no monsters anymore, uh, but I was working in a library. Um, really? Cool. <laughs> like with your dad? Yeah, with my, that, that part was cool. Uh, you do love spending time with your dad. Yeah, and he, you know, he had his sandwiches. It was a great time. Anyway, uh, I, I missed you guys. Oh, I missed you guys. Um, None of my customers like my goofs. <laughs> you guys I, don't particularly like my goofs either, but Lexi, I don't know. shut up. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I can do them around you. <laughs> and part of you does like them, even if you don't want to admit it. Lexi! <laughs> Rox is having a pivotal moment. So I realized that, you know, I had punched all these things, but the only one who really, you know, cared was my dad. And that's nice, but like, I don't know. It's different when you have friends that can care about it. So I'm gonna use a sketch craft. Oh. I'm going to use the move finishing blow, which yeah, allows yeah. me to recruit other two players to add to my drawing. Oh, dang. Yes! A triple move? So a triple soul move. I left room if you wanted to add to like the thing that's launching these fists, or you can just Erase it, that's fine. I trust my friends to help me with this. Where once we had three soul weapons, we can combine them into one super soul weapon. Hell yes. Super soul weapon. Our souls fused as one. Fused as one. <laughs> <laughs> you all sound lame as hell. <laughs> we may sound lame as hell, but at least we sound lame as hell together. Yes. <laughs> you see, he's visibly staggered by that. <laughs> All right, uh, so that brings us to Regina. Yes. Are you ready to add to this soul canvas? I am so ready. Bring it. I feel like I need to start by adding a little Regina down here too. Oh, absolutely. A little silhouetted. <laughs> I have uh, a question. Yes. What happened with the souls of our familiars? Like, where's, where's Parker and Parker? <laughs> oh, they had their own adventure. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Parker, the horse. Mm -hmm. Pony. Excuse me, pony. <laughs> <laughs> They're different. Uh, Parker the pony lived out an entire life as a as a bottle opener, um, and it kind of was bad. It was a bad and boring vision, and it's good that no one saw it. Uh, Parker uh, the baseball cat, um, you know, starred in a musical about baseball, um, and that actually worked out pretty well for them. Yeah. But here's the thing. They had uh, a row of comps in the front row mm. for all their friends to come. They were always empty. Aww. Every night they were singing their baseball songs and, and wow. nobody came to watch them. That is sad. Yeah. Uh, and Bones McGee actually um, became a full-blooded human. Got uh, skin oh. and flesh and everything. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Um, the name makes less sense then. Exactly. Well, it came, became more about like the dice that he always had. He's uh, like, these are my bones. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and he became a professional gambler. But here's the thing. He eventually got too much skin in the game. Mm. Um, couldn't get out, got dragged into a life of crime. Oh no, yep, Bones. Uh, the mafia got him. <laughs> wow. And Dang. he just fucking died. <laughs> That's and, really rough. And then he came back here with us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So that you can either remember your friends or just die? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Love that. Actually, no. What happened was he <laughs> didn't come back. He died uh, and then just like rose out of the ground again next to, to Regina. Oh, okay, that only works for bone familiars. Only works for bone familiars, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. He does seem a little less hype than he used to be mm -hmm. though. He's been through some stuff. <laughs> he remembers dying. Um, yeah, he does and it haunts him. And he was like, they put me in the cement shoes. Oh dang. Yeah. That's brutal. And the best thing about being a skeleton, you can't drown. Anyway, <laughs> what, was, John, what was the word that he used uh, as his hype word? Epiphany! He comes out of the, out of the ground next to Regina and is just like, oh, no, but for real, epiphany. But for real, epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> for real, though, I was bad. I'm glad I'm just bones. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh, look at this 
saber, this, so, dare I say, scimitar. It, it is scimitar adjacent, mm -hmm. but I, I want to share with, um, Wait. you know, the other girls here. It's a scissitar. Oh. Part of my part of my vision that I had of this other world without you guys. Mm -hmm. I told you I was like a famous Instagram, you know, star and bottle opener as well, uh, mm -hmm. something me and Parker the Pony have uh, in common. <laughs> We're always popping bottles. <laughs> Aren't you glad Parker's back, too? <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> um, but also, I had these just long, beautiful locks of hair uh, all the way down my back. Oh. Um, and it was kind of one of the things that I was known for. But it also came to be one of the symbols of what I had become that I didn't want to be without you guys. Um, so I think my soul weapon is going to be a, uh, a, a scissor. A scissor-based weapon. Oh, the scissor souls. Uh, so that I will never lose my way again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. That rules. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. That's so good. Gina, I think you would really like watching anime with us. <laughs> I don't see why you would think that. I just, something about it. It really doesn't seem like my kind of thing. It just, I think you'd get a lot out of it. <clears throat> oh. So they break apart into two separate blades? Yeah. That's very good. So I think like, you know, as, as Rox's uh, mm -hmm. fists are like flying around punching, the scissors are like flying around, like slicing left and right. Yes. And I do think at this point, like the battle has begun. Um, all hands slithers up to you. It's just reaching out. There are just hundreds upon hundreds of hands. But like, as soon as they do, <laughs> one is cut off by the scissor blade. <laughs> the other is cut off by the scissor blade. The fist just <laughs> <laughs> into its body, just taking whole chunks out of him. Just like holes are left in the place where these fists go through. It's not fun to have holes in you, huh? <sighs> uh, you see the, the hands start kind of trying to crawl back and cover the wounds, but they're like shaking a little bit. Mm -hmm. How can this be? Oh, all this wealth, and you would take it from me? Your currency! You are spare change! <sighs> um, they start to launch like one final attack as it looks like Legsy steps up to the plate. What up? You ready, Legsy? It's me, Legsy. It's Legsy. I'd like to use a sketchcraft ability. What? Yeah. Uh, Two uh, sketchcrafts? Uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, remember how, uh, remember how I lost that egg? Remember how I lost yes. that egg? You did lose that egg. I would like it back, please. <laughs> I would like to sticky fingers the egg. He can keep the gun. Okay, keep the gun. Keep the gun. Give me that egg. I want to know what. <laughs> want to know what it does? All right. It's an egg of kind surprise. We got to end with a surprise. This is going to be quite a surprise. Uh, thank you again to Lazy Mars uh, on the Discord for suggesting this. Roll a d6 to determine what's inside. Do it. Roll a d6. That's a one. A one. <laughs> Inside is a portable game system with one game. What game? <laughs> uh, it's your favorite game from childhood. What was it? Oh, um, <laughs> Breakfast Tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Breakfast Tycoon. Oh, you haven't fired that up in a long time. Uh-huh. That'll be fun for later. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> so I'm a little distracted, I guess. <laughs> Um, I mean, maybe don't get into it right now. Okay, you <laughs> sure? You sure? Yeah, they're like firing off these missiles and launching these scissors, and you're like, hey guys, remember Breakfast Tycoon? <laughs> <laughs> guys, look what I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad I used my Sketchcraft ability for that. Can I? Feels right. Can I just go ahead and say what all was in the egg? Uh, I would love to know. Since we're at the end of the show. Yeah. Uh, if you'd rolled a two, it would have been drugs? Question mark. <laughs> Um, three would have been another piece of clip art. Uh, four would have been something you really need right now. <laughs> four Damn seems it. pretty good. Five would have been a key to a door somewhere. And six would have been an extra skill point. But I think um, a portable game system, what kind of game system is it? Um, it's It's got to be the, the, the Gregory <laughs> Hamboy. <laughs> Oh, the Gregory Hamboy classic, too. Yeah. The one with the uh, translucent case. Yeah. Plug me up, where they cartridge. The 90s will never die, baby. <laughs> it lasts for approximately 10 minutes before the batteries die. <laughs> Would you like to sue? <laughs> so, you, yeah, you get this um, Gregory Hamboy 
are like, nice, stash it in your pocket, and then you get to work. What is that? Oh, is it? Legsy, you mad woman, you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Prepare to get bead. <laughs> You're still mad about the bees, huh? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> bees, the bee venom flows through me. Those are some big bees. Yeah, they are. Wow. Oh no, I'm allergic to bees. Your hands are gonna get so swollen, <sighs> dude. Oh, I won't be able to type. <laughs> you see all hands, for the first time, looks afraid. They say, we built this system. Everything here, it's all from us. This foundation, it stems from everything I've done, and you would ruin it simply to make the world a better place for the miserable time that you're on it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what heroes do. And you see that the bees slowly begin to swarm on them. Said one more NOS tank. <laughs> <laughs> As these soul bees are just stinging the entire body of all hands, uh, you see they say, Perhaps there is a worth we will never know. And they start to glow and rumble and shake, and then. <laughs> the entire demon's form explodes and hands just <laughs> everywhere, all over the place. And then they begin to <laughs> flow away like dust. Wow, he really was allergic to bees. <laughs> I should have just done, I should have just done bee venom instead of that anti-demon <laughs> juice. I wish I'd known. I should have asked him about allergies. <laughs> Huh. You Makes had a lot of think. time. Yeah. Demons can be allergic to bees. <laughs> Truly a powerful force beyond any realm, <laughs> ours or theirs. Uh, you know, it takes all kinds. Yeah, uh, you know, make sure, uh, make sure you know what you're allergic to before you go out uh, camping, mm -hmm. bring an EpiPen. Right, it's important. Always carry an EpiPen. This has been Legsy's Lessons. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Legsy's Legsons. <laughs> Hey, friends, um, did we get verified? You know what, Rox? I think we did. <laughs> what does that mean again? It means... Well, I was kind of doing like a cool like ending line, like yeah. metaphorical. We like our friendship was verified yeah. and our strengths as a, as a unit. Yeah, that's, um, I, I got that. You got that? I got so that. You were, you were on board. I was, gonna, weren't. I was gonna add to it. Oh yeah, no, go ahead. No, go it's ahead. fine. No, the moment's passed. Do you want me to take it again? No, it's fine. Uh, you know what, Rox? I think we did. Yeah. You see this entire dimension starts to shatter. These like astral pillars start to crack and crumble as the dark demonic entity that held everything here together vanishes from existence. You see, literally this place isn't falling apart. It's ceasing to exist. This rift, this primal rift that caused all the other rifts, all the other multiverses that have been plaguing Samwerica over the years begin to fade from existence. And you see as well, these soul ingots start to fade away too. They start to blink out of existence like stars in the night sky. And then you're back in the crater in the middle of Porphopolis where once the soul exchange stood. Hot damn. <laughs> So as you're standing stunned, you see uh, three figures running up to you. Um, you see they're distant at first, but then as they get closer, you realize it's the movie night boys. Whoa, <laughs> you guys got flesh. Hey, yeah, we got flesh. Uh, turns out that uh, Questly Union's healthcare, super good. They unflattened us and everything. Oh, isn't it not unionized anymore because of Alpis? Actually, here's the other thing. Uh, we are still unionized because when you killed All Hands, it totally destroyed all of the multiverses that were corrupted by its presence and created one unified one where everything's fine. Oh, I love oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> That's super, I don't want to think about it too hard. Don't. But yeah, yeah. Ah. glad it shook out that way. Yeah. You see that Rick thinks about it and knows his nose starts to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, does that mean that Ludwig's still alive? Uh, you see um, Gene holds up a little hologram and Ludwig says, hello. 
Hey, Ludwig. Oh, I feel so much better now. I'm fine, and guess what? I set my ponies free. You know, that was probably the right thing to do. It sounded <laughs> like you were really mistreating them. Yeah, it was big time. So yeah, everything's good. We're unionizing our Questly, and oh, these, these three guys, the Movie Night Boys, they're starting a new agency within Questly, a new team of heroes who will actually do good for the sake of it. And we're calling them the Hands of All. Uh, and you see they kind of pose a little bit. They go, Hands of All, helping out the world, keeping evil away. And that's all we will do today, hands of all. Wow. Yeah, we're still working on the song. <laughs> I can tell. So, uh, do you girls want to join up with us, or, or what are you thinking? We'd love your help. You've clearly proven yourselves. Uh, that was amazing back there. What do you say, guys? I mean, honestly, we've kind of already got our own club. Yeah? I think we've got our own thing to do. Fair enough. All right, well, if you ever need help, let us know. You see Rick grabs both of them under his arms uh, and starts jumping into the air, and Lester goes, hands of all, away, we are needed. Uh, and <laughs> they blast off, and you're left standing alone in this big crater where the soul exchange was. Um, you see that the cursed ice has actually started to melt as well, uh, and the city is actually kind of like coming back to life. Did Renald come back to life too? <laughs> you see, you see Rick jumps back in. <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. He out again. I felt bad about him. Yeah, his, good for him. His death felt real bad. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, no? so I guess we did it. Sweet. Hey, did we get paid for that last job? <laughs> Do we? Uh, let's check our, uh, Is that a... check our Gregory Ham phones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see that Ludwig has provided you a very, very, very generous bonus on your Questly app for all of your hard work and saving the entire universe. Yay! <laughs> I have never seen a number this big in my entire life. <laughs> they go up that high? I guess. <laughs> this is like as many nuggets as we have. Yeah. It just says fuck ton in here. <laughs> There's a little emoji of Ludwig winking next to it. <laughs> So yeah, um, you see that the sun is rising once again on Porphopolis, and you kind of just sit together alone in this moment and dwell on what you've done, how far you've come, and how far you have to go. Wow. Wow. It's been like a few days, right? <laughs> like total? I, it's so hard to keep track of time without like a class schedule. Yeah, I hard to tell. I don't even know what day of the week it is. It seems like we fit a lot in though. <laughs> I think, you know, this adulthood thing, it's hard, but with you guys, I think I can get through it. You know, I think so too. I'm hungry. <laughs> what, what's the thing that you say to like- Oh, when I want breakfast? Yeah. Oh, you want to do it with me? Yeah. Eh. Eggs. Eh. Eggs. Egg. Eggs. Eggs. Eh. Eggs. Start cracking eggs. So you on, a, on a sandwich. Egg, sam egg sandwich. No, uh, just, 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 just yell eggs. I'll make it a sandwich eggs. for you. I'll make a sandwich with more eggs. Egg give me some of those nugs. I want to try something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Got so many. Oh. So you're all in this crater. Uh, you see Legsy starts preparing this bounteous feast of a breakfast before you. Um, you hear the bacon sizzle. You hear the fire roar. You hear birds chirp for the first time. Um, and as you're standing there waiting for these eggs, um, talking about what your next adventure will be, you see the remaining ice catches the sun's rays and blasts it out at an infinite number of angles. And as the bacon sizzles and the birds chirp, you see the world become bathed in light and tinged once again with a hope for tomorrow. And that it's where we will end our story. Hey. Yeah, yeah. nice. Whew. We'd actually save some stuff. You did it. Oh, and you got man. to eat breakfast. The best part. It's the oh, most important gosh. meal. Bees. We all fucking did it. Bees, it turns out. That's what my soul remembers. <laughs>
My soul remembered being stung by a thousand bees. <laughs> the the bee most things. When it th went to think of a weapon, it thought, <laughs> what is the most pain I've ever experienced? And it was bees. It was bees. Oh. And being apart from you guys. Aww. Yeah, but bees. bees, definitely bees first. Definitely bees. Y'all, this was amazing. Let's get a little high five going down the chain. How's oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh. Thank you again to the Ladies Book Club, to my wonderful players. Ah, uh, what a treat it was. Thank you, Working Caldwell. With you, yeah, thanks so draw. much. Oh, this was absolutely. a yeah, blast. What a wonderful absolutely. adventure. Um, thank you again to our audience for watching. Uh, we couldn't have done it without you. I know normally we end the show by saying we're sorry, but uh, this time I think we should say we're sorry there's not more because this was an absolute blast. So thank you again, and until next time, we're very sorry. 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 Bye. Bye.